Hi, this is Don McAllister and welcome to another edition of Screencasts Online. Well, if everything has gone to plan, today should be the day that Apple release iOS 13. However, they did surprise everyone this year, myself included, by splitting the release of iOS 13 and iPad OS 13. So iOS 13 is released today on September the 19th and iPad OS 13 will be released on September the 30th. So for this special release day show, I thought I'd focus on the new features of iOS 13 as they relate to the iPhone to help you find your way around the new operating system, as well as previewing some of the new features of iPad OS for when it's released later this month. We'll be diving a bit deeper into both operating systems in future shows, but let's make a start by taking a look at iOS 13 on the iPhone. Across over on the iPhone 8 Plus, I've already pre-installed iOS 13 and we'll take a look at the first feature, which is a feature called Dark Mode. Now, if you're already a Mac user, you're familiar with Dark Mode, but that now has been transferred across to both the iPhone and the iPad. Uh, to get to Dark Mode, if you just tap into Settings, there is an option, by the way, when you install iOS 13 to switch on Dark Mode, but you can do it at this stage if you didn't do that during the installation process. If we swipe up, and go to display and brightness. You'll see up at the top, the new option for dark mode. If I switch that on, we get this really nice attractive dark mode, uh, which has been applied to all of the Apple applications. You might have to wait for third party developers to release their apps with dark mode enabled. But if I just come out of here just to show you and point out also that the wallpaper has changed. Um, there are specific wallpapers that have both a light mode and a dark mode variant, and this is one of them. But just for example, if I go into notes, you'll see here we've got uh, notes in the nice dark mode. If we go into mail, say, okay, mail is also enabled with dark mode. But we'll come out of here. You can change dark modes to transition at various times. If I go back into settings and switch to automatic. So currently the option is set to be light until uh, 10 o'clock, so it's only the early hours of the evening now, so it's gone to light mode. Uh, you can change that if you want it to be sunrise to sunset, or if you want to change and have a custom schedule and change the times when light and dark make their appearance. But for this demo, I'm going to come back, I'm going to switch off automatic, and I'm going to leave it in light mode. Now, if you do want to change it on the fly, you can add a button to Control Center. So if I show you Control Center, I'll swipe up from the bottom on this device. No button here as of yet. So I'll press the Home button, go back into Settings, go into Control Center, tap on Customize Controls, and then down at the bottom we have Dark Mode. Tap on the little green button. That is now moved up to the top section, which are the included applications. Let's come out of here, swipe up from the bottom again, and there's the new icon down at the bottom for Dark Mode. So if I tap it once, we're now in Dark Mode. I swipe up and tap it again, we're back in light mode. For these next few sections, I'm going to demonstrate the new... That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple-related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple-related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new, up-to-date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone, and even your Apple TV using the members only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone, and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a Screencasts Online member. <laughs> 